Guru, whose the outlook do you support? Is it the young generation or your own generation? You're talking about previous generation, I don't belong to that. Nor do I belong to your generation, I belong to the future generations. That's why I'm like this <laughs> There is of course a distance between possibility and reality. Some will have the courage and commitment to travel that distance, some will not have the courage and commitment to travel that distance. But every life is a possibility. If you want to keep that possibility open, you never ever form an opinion about anybody of any sort. Good, bad, ugly, you don't form these opinions, you simply look at them right now. How are they right now, this moment? That's all that matters to me. How you were yesterday is not my business. How you may be tomorrow, let's see. Tomorrow must be created, not concretized right now, isn't it? Sadhguru, you are so reverent and you are so cherished. Do you ever get a superiority complex? The question is not about superiority complex, inferiority complex, poverty complex or wealthy complex. That you have a complex is a serious problem, isn't it? Whatever kind it is. What a complex means is, you have assumed something about yourself and you have concretized that assumption in such a way you make a bloody fool of yourself wherever you go. Do I look like that? It's so all the idiots who think they are right, nobody wants to listen to them, nobody wants to be around them, isn't it? My question is, I am um, pursuing science and when I talk about uh, yoga and doing Shambhavi in my college, people look, kind of look down upon me saying, you are a science student, how can you <laughs> talk about these things? There is no other science which is as largely applicable as yogic sciences. Most people cannot handle freedom. They are always trying to bind, my, bind themselves, but only talking, mouthing freedom all the time. If you really set them free, they will suffer immensely. It's my wish and my blessing. Every one of you must have a fantastic life. Make it happen for yourself. <laughs>
करप्शन टेकिंग प्लेस इन इंडिया इज इट दैट द गुडनेस डजेंट पे ऑफ और इज इट दैट पीपल डोंट हैव दैट मच पेशेंस इफ देर इज समथिंग दैट इज पुटिंग यू ऑफ एंड यू नो दैट यू हैव टू गो थ्रू विद इट एवरी डे सो हाउ टू मोटिवेट योर सेल्फ हाउ टू बी काम एंड पेशेंस इन सर्टन सिचुएशन वेन यू गेट कन्फ्यूज वाई डू यू हैव टू वेयर अ टाई और अ प्रॉपर ड्रेस कोड इन इन आर प्लेस वॉट शुड बी जेंडर इक्वालिटी और जेंडर जस्टिस हाउ डू यू गेट ओवर द फियर ऑफ फेलियर I really want to know. मेरा एक सवाल आपसे ये है सो आई हैव दिस क्वेश्चन मेरा ये प्रश्न है आपसे सदगुरु जेलसी इज ऑलवेज कंसिडर्ड एज अ रियली सिनिकल इमोशन But to be honest, for me, it has worked so well. <laughs> What did you get to do? Huh? It it motivates me. <laughs> so every time my friend learns something new, I just get this innate urge to perform better. And it's probably why I've landed up in my dream college. So, do you think the jealousy is actually a negative emotion, or does it motivate you to do better? See, uh, these days, fortunately, it's gone. When we were growing up. especially diwali is coming when diwali comes in small towns one of the fun that people have is they will make a can full of uh, what to say the firecrackers and tie it to a donkey's tail when it goes dum 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 poor donkey runs all over the place faster than a horse you think that's the way to motivate life there are better and more intelligent ways of doing things well when you feel like your tail is burning you may run people always use this thing if a dog is chasing you you will run really fastest but mr bolt you know mr bolt he did not run because his tail is on fire he runs because he prepared his legs and lungs in such a way whichever way he runs he is faster than everybody Hello Isn't that the way to run You want to run because a dog is chasing you you want to run because your tail is on fire is it the way you want to run No That's not a pleasant way to run See one thing is important that you run fast Another thing is that your experience of running is fantastic Isn't that important Hello Well you got into your dream college but it could be hell 3 years 3 years of hell who knows Is it not important that these three years are a fantastic experience for you? Huh? Not important. <laughs> Running is not the only important thing. How you experience it? What comes out of it tomorrow? Suppose we ran because our tail is on fire. Now we understand. The only way to make people run is to set their tails on fire. how much damage we will cause to everybody and i have seen these donkeys running faster than a race horse because they terrified that's not the way to run please don't do that to yourself not anymore okay these were created with a specific purpose if you want intelligence you go to one kind of deity if you have fear problems you go to another kind of deity certain sciences are still alive and active which could produce ramanujam Ramanujan spoke about black holes nearly a hundred years ago or more than hundred years ago when there was no concept of black holes. He made mathematics for black holes when there was no concept of black holes. People asked, where is this coming from? What is this? He said, my Devi bleeds mathematics. So Guru, the next question which we have, uh, I'll just read it out for you. Uh, it is believed that Srinivasa Ramanujam could write mathematical equation as is he had access to the whole universe. He also says that God has dicta dictates him those mathematical ideas. How can I reach to that state? That is the question. First, you must find a goddess. Huh? <laughs> All of you, do you use a phone? Why? Why do you use a phone? Why did we first of all make a telephone? 
because we can speak. If we had no ability to speak, would we manufacture a microphone, a telephone, any of these things? Hello? Why did we come up with a bicycle? Because we can walk, but we wanted to walk faster, so we ran. We ran and we knew there's a limit. We wanted to go faster than that, so we came up with a bicycle. Suppose we were made like a tree, rooted to one place, would we have invented a bicycle? No. So a telephone, a telescope, a microscope, bicycle, automobiles, airplanes, everything what? What faculties we already have, we want to enhance that. We have not come up with any machine for which we had no faculty and suddenly we came up with something because we don't even know what those things are, yes? The faculties that we do not have, we have no way to perceive that whether it exists or it doesn't exist. Only faculties that we have, we are trying to take it for. So in this effort, we came up with many machines. All machines here are only enhancing our existing faculties. They have not come up with any absolutely new faculty. In the same context, right from ancient times in this culture, we came up with machines not made of material, not made of mechanical process, but an energetic process. What does a machine with an energetic process mean? See, suppose somebody is dead. You seen any dead people? Hello? Where did you see? I never saw. You saw dead people or dead bodies? Ah. Dead body means what? Let us say no accident happened, no murder happened, no nothing happened or let's say somebody just suffocated and died. If somebody suffocated and died, heart is in the right, heart is doing well, maybe not beating but it's fit, liver, kidney, damn everything is all okay. Only thing is the person is not alive. All the mechanical parts are okay. Only thing is that life energy is missing. So this is also an energy machine on one level, isn't it so? Yes or no? This is also an energy machine, on top of it we put mechanical parts to it. Even if all the mechanical parts are intact, if there is no energy, this will not function. So from looking deep inside, we understood we could create an energetic machine without mechanical parts because if mechanical parts come, they need a certain level of maintenance and servicing and works. But if you just create an energy machine, it will simply function day and night. Suppose your motorcycle or your car or whatever you use, let's say your phone was just an energy machine without mechanical parts. See, it's happening. From such a big phone, it's slowly becoming smaller, smaller. With less and less mechanical parts, it's becoming more and more efficient. Why do you think? Slowly it is moving towards a space where it is becoming more energetic than mechanical. Isn't it so? Do you remember old James Bond movies? Such a big phone. Ah, it was looking like a just born baby. <laughs> but today, it's become this much as they're expecting in another probably ten, fifteen years, your phone can be just imprinted on your hand. Simply like this you can speak. Or you don't even have to do this, if you simply do that, it will say what you want it to say. So from being mechanical, now we are going towards energy-based machine. From a huge earth mover to a computer, this is the big difference, that it's more energetic and less mechanical. So we created energy machines, which in this culture we call as deities, or the English word is deity. Generally we call them as murtis, that means a form. A form which has a certain ability to do certain things, energetic forms. So some different forms are like windows to the existence, you could open up different dimensions. 
All this is forgotten, made into absolute nonsense today in the form of superstitions, but otherwise it was clearly prescribed. Because today people get identified with this or that, they think they… their gods are about belonging to them. No, these deities, God is the wrong word for this, these are deities or murtis, these were created for a specific purpose. If you want intelligence, you go to one kind of deity. If you have fear problems, you go to another kind of deity. You have love issues, you go to another kind of deity. You have prosperity issues, you go to another kind of deity. Like this, they made energetic forms, which you must learn to use. These are not places of prayer. These are not places of worship. These are places where you learn how to use the machine for your benefit. They were built in various forms and various capacities. They were also connected to people's genetic information, which we called as Kuladaivas, where only for that genetic pool it will work. This is a very complex process. So Ramanujam comes from the south. Why I'm specially mentioning the south is, if these things were there everywhere in the country, but the northern belt of this nation has taken too many invasions, too much disruption, South <laughs> we, you know, south of Vindhyas, we've been very well protected. Even today we maintain many things. We never had major disruptions as the North had. Because of this, certain sciences are still alive and active, which could produce a Ramanu Ramanujam. Ramanujam spoke about black holes nearly a hundred years ago or more than a hundred years ago, when there was no concept of black holes. He made mathematics for black holes when there was no concept of black holes. Science always progresses like this, first the concept, then the theory and then the mathematics. But he made the mathematics first, before there was a concept, before there was a theory. And when… when they asked him… he was sitting on his deathbed and simply pouring out mathematics, notebooks and notebooks of mathematics, simply pouring out. People asked, where is this coming from? What is this? He said, my Devi bleeds mathematics.